What is up Diablo Gamers 5 here and patch 2.1 has been so good to me. I just want to go over my gear, the build, and also Paragon points um, in this video. We're going to be bringing so much content this week. It's going to be crazy. So uh, let's just get right into taking a look at some of the gear. So I finally got a Kreider shot. What's really important about this Kreider shot is the legendary effects where the elemental arrow now generates three hatred. So instead of it spending hatred, it actually generates it. So you can spam, uh, pretty much you have unlimited hatred now. Um, so the credit shot is, is pretty good. I definitely need to upgrade the gym in that. Um, next we have our Marauder's Gloves. Um, as you can see, they're gonna be seeing a lot of reduced cooldown of skills um, that is because I want to reduce everything down so that um, one of my skills I'm able to you know I'm able to press it more often my buff um, shoulders we are doing the all gills two-piece shoulders just because the all gills um, gives you that th the three-piece set gives you the negative 15% damage from uh, elite damage to monsters and then plus 15 damage so it helps out a lot for survivability when you go up into uh, the higher, uh, greater rifts. Uh, chest piece we have is a Marauder's chest piece. Dex, Vite, all res, 11% life. Um, I had to reroll sockets on it, which is fine by me. I'm okay with that. Uh, helm, this was given us to by Skits. Most of our gear uh, is hand-me-downs from Skits, so I want to say thank you for that. Um, but dex, uh, percentage of life, and, and, and CC on it. Um, I still need to upgrade a lot of the gear. Uh, Kimbo's Gold, uh, we got this today. Uh, I re-rolled um, Vite off of it for a socket. And um, let's see here. It doesn't actually let you know. Oh, here there, there's the, uh, the gem. is uh, increased damage against um, enemies while impairing control effects. I am actually going to be doing a gem um a gym video to let you guys know um, what all the gyms and you know what is the best for say demon hunter or or, or witch doctor um, all gills bracers um, I definitely need to make some more because I want to get a higher CC on there but uh, nonetheless it's you know it's okay um, here we have a very important uh, part of uh, the quiver part of the m6 build and this is the Rutsack, where t you uh, the legendary effect, you may have two additional sentries. So right now, I can rock up to four sentries right now um, with the current build that I have. Um, the Rog, uh, I'm trying to re-roll crit damage on here. Um, I I'm lacking crit damage uh, quite a bit. I have over 40% CC, so I'm okay on CC, but I'm like at 300% crit damage, which is terrible. We'll go into detail stats. So, Puzzle Ring, I'm trying to re-roll a socket on there. Oh, yeah, and also I have uh, my pet. It's called the Enforcer. Increase the damage of your pets by 16.8%, which uh, your sentries count as pets, so that's what I have that there for. Puzzle Ring, we're just trying to re-roll a socket on there. Um, Marauder's Boots, um, Pretty good rolls. Um, it would have been nice to be able to have other stuff on there, but I'm not going to complain. These were given to me, so I'm happy about that. Uh, we did get these from Kadala Marauder Pants. Uh, these actually rolled pretty good. Um, I'm going to have to change up probably evasive fire damage for something else. Um, and we're going to be doing a video on uh, what to reroll and what to look for a reroll. Um, and a saffron wrap, uh, I actually found this on my monk and I took them off of my monk. Um, almost perfect rolls on everything. Um, high, high dax, high vitality. This is a, um, this is a very good, uh, piece for survivability. So let's go into the nitty gritty stats. Uh, damage is 768,000. Um, bonus damage to elite is 15%. When we get our, um, uh, SOJ uh, Unity build, um, that will be going up much higher. Uh, tax per second is 1.89, so I am past the, um, oh my gosh, I just lost my train of thought. 
I'm past the breaking point um, of 1.78, so I think it's three attacks per second my um, sentries do. Um, CC is at 46%. Uh, crit damage is at 311. I want to get at least 80% more, 90% more crit damage. So I'll be at that 400% mark and be almost to that 10 to 1 ratio. Um, cooldown reduction is at 10.7%. Once I am able to get a max uh, diamond, that will go up to 12, go up 12.5%. Uh, so I'll be around 23% uh, percent cooldown reduction. Um, cold damage increase uh, is 900,000 DPS. Uh, need to get rid of that evasive fire damage. Um, all res is pretty high because I put all res gems in. So also another big thing is your dex now is uh, considered uh, armor too. So that's why we have tons and tons of armor, very high armor, um, which that's going to keep going up. Um, life is at 480,000. I, I technically could lose about 80,000 life. Uh, if I wanted to, um, but uh, yeah. So life per hit is kind of low. I want to kind of get that up, but everything else is fine. All right, let's go into the skills. Um, since I do have the Kreider shot, I am running Elemental Arrow, Frost Arrow. Um, this also chills enemies, so they go into control and pairing effect, and when you have that gem on there, it uh, you get additional damage. Um, Cluster Arrow Maelstrom, um, this also gives out rockets. That deals 450% weapon damage, or I mean cold damage. So, or it turns weapon damage into cold, so that's nice to have. Um, smoke screen Healing Vapes, um, regenerate 15% life while invisible. Uh, I do enjoy that. This helps me out in a lot of sticky situations. It's my oh shit button. Um, companion, now this is a buff. When you have your four-piece Marauder set, you get all the companions and so then you can actually press this and when when it's activated you will be able to um do more um i about said damage but uh you would be able to do uh yeah more damage and everything else like that so it does help out quite a bit i do actually enjoy it um Let's just pick up uh, that. Um, sentry, Spitfire. Uh, this turret will fire homing rockets. Um, this is why you want to have also a little bit of fire damage. And multi-shot arsenal. Every time you uh, fire, launch three rockets. So this, this build is all around the M6 where this fires, this also fires, and this also fires from your sentries. So that's why it's a very effective and uh, crazy build. Like I said, I started on normal today of be able to do that, and then I'm able to do T5 up to par uh, up to Greater Rift 24. So this is pretty nice to have. Uh, steady aim. Um, as long as there's no enemies within 10 yards, all damage is increased by 20%, which is nice to have. Call of the Weak. Increased damage against slowed or chilled enemies. That works well um, with Frost Arrow. Um, ballistics increase rock your damage of rockets by 100 percent that's just insane and in addition you have a 20 percent chance to fire a homing rocket for 150 percent weapon damage so that's insane and awareness when you receive fatal damage you instantly vanish for two seconds and regenerate 50 percent of maximum life which is nice to have so every minute basically you can have you know uh you can die and then it'll give you 50%, so it saves you a little, quite a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some Paragon points. Uh, right now, um, I have 23% or 22% movement speed, so I put in 3% movement speed for that. Uh, the rest into Vitality, which I'm probably going to switch that around uh, to uh, Dex to have more armor. Um, right now, um, we can just put this in cooldown reduction. I'm trying to hit that 10, 10 to 1 ratio for crit uh, CC to crit damage. So I put everything in uh, um, crit damage. Um, next, we have resist all. That's pretty much a no-brainer. And then we're going to put it into armor. And here, um, we have everything into life on hit. Next, I will probably put it into gold fine since I really don't use any resource. So gold fine will definitely help out. 
So guys, if you guys have any questions or anything, just uh, message me on here, put it in chat. Um, also, you guys can follow me on uh, Twitter, Facebook, all my social media is down below. If you guys are a YouTube content creator and don't have a partnership yet, uh, click down below in my description to check out Freedom. They will partner your channel and you can earn money uh, for your YouTube videos and also be part of a community that wants to help you to grow. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Thing. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. It's been crazy. There's going to be tons of videos coming up this week. Um, today there's probably going to be two or three videos that are going to be coming up. So thank you guys so much. See you in Sanctuary. And may the RNG be with you guys. Take care.